KOM News Now, Joplin News First. This is a water rescue in Fort Scott. We're just to the north edge of downtown. Uh, the Marmoton River city manager says is be the third highest flooding ever. And Fort Scott Fire have been busy today uh, with the assistance of the Veda Fire Department earlier this morning. There's portions of town, uh, people who live just to the north of town, who are residences are surrounded by water. Most of them have decided to stay put, but they've gone out checking on people. And these people are ready to get moved to higher ground. So Fort Scott Fire Department were called to assist in picking them up. They were about a mile and a half away, but once again, they were surrounded by water uh, where they were. I think they were at a, a, a barn. Left the cows. They're on. They're on high ground. They're all right. Let me kind of show you the enormity of this, though. Fort Scott, I mean, this isn't nothing new, of course. It, Marmonton River just fingers pretty much around the northern edge of town. I don't know if you can see the water there as it's rushing across the bridge there. Now, on the bridge, it's not very deep, but right beyond the bridge is going to be the middle of the river the Marmoton River. I think I'm saying that right. They call this Bell Town, this part of town here. We're just north of the fort. US 54 that goes from Nevada across into Kansas is closed. It's flooded. No one has been injured, but they, of course, encourage people not to drive into floodwaters. And once again, these people they've been working with today and helping, it's not someone driving into the water, it's uh, residences or some of their barns and livestock are surrounded by water. Uh, something's happened before, so it's something they work with. Most usually people can wait it out, but some people get tired of waiting it out, I guess. I'll walk over here and kind of give you a different view. So right here, here is uh, historic Fort Scott, just right up the hill, about a block. There's the downtown pavilion uh, right here uh, behind the Evergy building is the historic fort. I'm going to zoom in here and you can see how far the water goes here. And then it goes to dry land there and then it'll go back down to water on the other side. So due to topography, oh, they've had to do these water rescues today. Fort Scott Fire Department. So if you live in Fort Scott, you've seen this before, maybe. Like the city manager said, this is going to be the record, the third highest on record, they believe. It's going to be 45 feet when it crests. Uh, one before that, I think it was about 1916, and then the other one was sometime in the 90s.
it was interesting. I was up here a couple of hours ago, and they have a walking tour around downtown here. You have to... I've, I've never done it before. And they actually had storyboards talking about the historic flooding in 1885 here. It was the same places uh, where the town is. Because <laughs> the town's been around since like 1840. So they're still dealing with these same areas that flood. It was very fascinating. They have pictures and stuff that you can just look up and see the same roads. There's so much really interesting history here in Fort Scott. And I'll put our article link on here. I didn't have a I didn't have time to a while ago. They were coming in so quick. I was trying to post it with my topic here, you know, the top of the post, but couldn't get it done in time. If you could share this story, I'd appreciate it. Let others know. Joplin News First, keeping you up to date with what's happening where you live. We're in Bourbon County this afternoon. And still rain in the forecast. KOM News Now, Joplin News First. I'm Shannon Becker.